Hi there, I'm Virginia Lindsay of Ginger Cake Patterns and Design, and today I'm going to share with you four ideas for like a less waste, eco-friendly gifts to give this holiday. Um, these are also great for any time of year for gifts to give yourself or to your family and friends. Um, I really love these. I'm going to make, um, well, I'm already, I'm going to share two new ideas, and then I'm going to share two ideas that I've made in the past. Um, that are like gifts that keep giving to me that I've used so many times and that I've given to family and friends a bunch of times uh, that I think are just wonderful. Also, I'd like to introduce you to my sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online platform of over 25,000 classes for creatives. They're really great. They're like in these little short segments. You take a class. There are five, ten-minute classes um, in segments. So um, I've really been enjoying taking them. With my link down below, you get two free months of Skillshare, um, so be sure to check that out. And then a little later, I'm going to tell you about what class I'm taking now. Uh, but my first idea is my um, everyday cloth napkins. Now, I've been using these for years. Um, I've made probably, I, for my own family, I have about 24 of them that we just keep in rotation all the time. And I don't use like fancy fabric. I don't, in fact, these are from Vintage Sheets, this, this set right here, but I just have a mixture and we just, this is what we eat with every day. And my um, tutorial, my video tutorial, which is right, I'll share the link right here on my blog, on my um, channel, that shows you how to make these really fast little mitered corners. So they're finished, they're pretty, they're so useful. And then on my blog, I'm going to give you the link to my blog post I did a while back that gives you free printables uh, for everyday cloth napkins. And here is a picture of that. Okay, next idea is, um, now is to make cloth um, grocery bags. And this tutorial is another one that I made before. It's probably my most popular video. And this pattern is part of my book, Sewing to Sell, which uh, you can purchase with the link below. But the video does show you how the pattern works. It's not super complicated. You could easily draft your own pattern. Uh, it takes two half yards of fabric. What I usually do is I will buy a, a yard and a half of cotton fabric, like two sets that I really like that coordinate. Like, for example, you know, I did this triangle fabric and this cute, like, fruit fabric. And I made, um, you make three at a time, and then you can give them to your family and friends. I've given them to my mom, I've given them to my best friend, and you just kind of roll them up and present them in this cute little way. And then they're, they're awesome, like they're easy to take around. And I have been using mine for years now. Um, every week when I go to the grocery store, I take my cloth, uh, my cloth bags. Since I do have four kids, I take um, a bunch of other cloth bags too. But we, um, have been using them and I just think they're really great. It's they're nice and sturdy, they're fast to make, and here is the link to that video. I think you guys would really love giving that as a gift this year. It's quick. Anyway, so that's a great idea too um, to keep in mind as something to give. And then you can, you know, make a cute presentation of it too. So uh, the new things I'm going to show you are I'm going to make these. Um, little face wipes and these are so nice you know um, when you buy these like eye makeup remover face wipes from the store they're like Neutrogena or like Walmart has some or um, they are this kind of like clothy material and they have chemicals on them which I'm not like super I don't not super opposed to the chemicals I mean I think that they use some pretty nice stuff but I just don't think it's necessary and especially because it just I whenever I'm like emptying the garbage for my kids it's like full of these makeup wipes because I have two teenagers two teenage daughters and they don't wear tons of makeup either so I just feel like um, something like this would be better and I have seen all these reusable makeup wipes on um, the computer and I thought I can make these myself easily there's lots of tutorials to do this so it's not the most original but I'm going to show you my way of doing it and I think you'll really love it it's fast it's easy it makes a whole bunch at once and then you can kind of give it in this adorable little bundle little stocking stuff stuffer 
So I think that's really cute. Maybe pair it with some homemade eye makeup remover. There's a lot of recipes out there. I'll share my favorite down below. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. And then the last thing I'm going to show you how to make is this really fun um, popcorn bag. Um, and that is so cute. I'm excited about it. So, and it really works. So let's begin and we'll start doing some sewing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is cut out two pieces of just quilting weight cotton fabric, 100% cotton. They're going to be 20 inches by 12 inches. And then you're going to lay them right sides together, smooth out the uh, wrinkles, press them if you'd like to get a really nice, a really nice um, smooth finish. And then we're going to go ahead and pin them to put them together. And we're going to sew these two pieces together around the perimeter in a minute. So pin in the corners starting out. Get nice and flat. And then pin all the way around. But you're going to leave an opening of about five inches, four and a half, five inches right here on one end. Okay, so now I've sewn them together. You can see there was the side it was, and this is this side is a little bit easier for you to see the um, thread. And you're going to clip the corners. All four corners need to be clipped, and this makes the turning out um, the the corners look a little nicer. Be sure though not to clip the the seam that you made, the thread that you sewed, because that will be make holes in your bag. And now turn it right side out through the opening. Go ahead and give it a nice turn out here. You got to get into those corners is the biggest thing. You can use your finger, but really you're probably going to need we're going to need to get my chop my um chopstick out because that'll really make the corners look nicer. So, just take your chopstick, poke it in there. Chopsticks are very useful in your sewing room if you don't have one in here. In your sewing room already and into all four corners the chopstick. You want to push gently but not so hard that it pokes through. Okay, and then you want to, we're going to press. You need to make sure the seam is nice, is all the way rolled out, meaning you, when you press it together that there's, the seam is, is all the way at the edge and not kind of folded under there. So now we're going to press, and here is the pressed piece. And I did go ahead and sew across that opening all the way across that top edge so that that opening is now closed. And you're going to fold. Now we're working on the side that's going to be the exterior. And you fold it over, and that, that yellow is the lining. And the, the stripe is the exterior. So you fold it over about three inches, and then fold it again. So that it makes this little rectangle. And we're going to pin it together on the sides. You're just going to sew on the two sides. So a couple pins on the side. And on this side a few pins. And then sew down these two edges, not across the bottom or the top, just the two sides. Okay, I've sewn the sides. I'm going to clip my threads real quick. I'm not clipping the corners here, just clipping the threads. No corner clipping at this stage. And now turn it right side out. Get those corners again as well as you can. And then just the top flips over like that. You have your little popcorn envelope. And you're going to put about a half a cup of popcorn right in there. Just pour it in there. Let it be kind of in the middle. Put it this side up, the, the envelope side up, into the microwave for two and a half minutes. It's going to be great. And here it is in the microwave. So I wanted to show you my class I'm taking at Skillshare. It's called Style Your Space. 
creative tips and techniques for interior design and I'm really loving it. Here is some, some footage of the intro. Like I've said before, Skillshare is only $8.99 a month and you get the first two months free with my link down below. So be sure to click on that and try it out. Um, over 25,000 classes, all sorts of great things on design, um, um, computers, hand lettering, photography. You guys are really going to like this. Um, I think it's just a great platform. I'm really proud to be part of it. Like I've said before, the classes are nice and short, easy to watch, and I'm really loving it. And I think you will too. So give it a shot. And now we're going to work on the face cleaners, the washable face cleaners. So I found this um, piece of, it's like a bar, it's actually called a bar cloth. And it's a piece of chenille um, fabric that I found at the dollar store. And I'm going to use that as my basic um, fabric for the um, face cloth. You don't always have to go all the way to the fabric store. I'd wanted to go, I would like to have gone there and gotten some nicer, softer chenille, but it turns out that this worked perfectly fine, and it was only a dollar, which I loved. But the first thing you have to do, though, is cut off any kind of um, seams created um, if you're going to use a piece, if you're going to reuse a piece like this. And so that's really easy to do to get your piece prepared. Um, and this piece, is, I washed it first, of course. And I think it'll be a really good, um, in fact, I know it's going to be a good, good use for this. So I'm going to now get a piece of fabric. A, a fat quarter is fine. Um, and this is nice and soft enough, like I said before. So let's take this fat quarter of fabric. This is just 100% cotton fabric, uh, just a simple fat quarter quilting weight. And we're going to put these two pieces right sides together. You know, both sides are fine for the chenille, but um, the uh, for the quilting cotton, you need to make sure you have right sides facing. And then I'm going to get my pattern piece, and I'm going to trace on um, as many of these circles as I can onto the fabric. So I'm going to get my pencil and start tracing these on. Actually, the pencil isn't working all that great, so instead, I'm going to go ahead and trim off the, um, the, the, uh, the extra of the quilting weight fabric, and then I'm going to use, I'm going to trace on the other side. I'm just going to use this fabric marker here. This is going to mark a little bit better. And since we're going to be cutting inside of the, um, this marking, you're not going to see this. So it doesn't matter if you want to use, you know, a Sharpie or whatever you want to use to really show your marking of the um, pattern piece that'd be better. So just do circle after circle along this quilting cotton. And one thing you want to be sure to do, and you can here I'm going to mark my openings. It's about an inch and a half opening. Make sure you get that marked nicely so that when you're doing the sewing, you don't have to go back and pick out little pieces to create an opening with your seam ripper. So with this piece of um, fabric, now the, the measuring of this piece is um, 18 length by 15 height. So 18 by 15. And I can only fit, I can fit 15 of my circles onto this with some, with some fabric waste. But I'm doing this because it's the size of my, of my, um, that was the size of that bar cloth that I bought. But, you know, maybe a more accurate size would be something more like 20 by 12, and you wouldn't have any waste if you're going to buy some yardage. So here I got all of my um, circles done. See, this last one won't fit on the bottom. All my circles are done, and now I'm going to take a pin and put it through each one of the circles to hold them all in place. And once I have that done, we're going to head over to the sewing machine. One thing over there that I didn't show you is that I did put openings. I went back and put openings on all the pieces so that I know um, not to skip those because that's a pain if you have to then pick out the seams. So what I'm going to do is just start. I'm instead of using this uh, for my um, 
to use for my needle, I'm actually going to use that at the edge of my foot, if you can see that. So the circle is actually on the edge of the foot instead of, um, you know, where the needle is. And that's a little tricky, but you can, you'll get the hang of it. And that's to give us a good seam allowance. And if you haven't sewn uh, circles before, just slow your machine down and just take it a little bit, maybe a little faster than that. A little bit at a time. And these don't have to be perfect circles, uh, which is kind of nice because you're just using them to, you know, clean your makeup off or for little face scrubs. So there's one. And I do like to cut, clip my scenes in between each one. Um, let me find my scissors real quick. You would think with so many scissors, I would have them. I would have a pair right there, but I don't. Okay, and then start over again. Back stitch. And go around. And then I come back to that line right there that I've marked for myself, and I stop. Okay. Now when I get through um, this top line, I do these four, then I will, I'm going to cut them out just along the edge and then I'm going to start in on the next layer and that's because it gets to be too, it's too tight to um, have to do all of it at once. So when you get through the, a layer, you know, a, a line of them, go ahead and cut it out and then do the next line and that makes it a little easier. Okay, so here is a line I was telling you about. I'm just going to uh, cut one out so you can see. There's the opening. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to use this line that I created to show. I'm actually going to cut a little inside that line so my seam allowance is a little smaller, except at the opening area, because I want plenty of space to turn it under. Okay, so I'm going to cut out this one in a minute, but here we go. And then you have the opening, and you just poke it out through the opening. The opening needs to be a little bit small so that, you know, you don't have a huge, a huge problem right there. Okay, see how it looks like this? With this little, we're going to fold this under so that we don't have that raw edge. And then I'm going to press. I have my ironing board just right here, right next to my sewing machine. So I pressed. And now I'm going to sew around the perimeter. Let's move the machine over here. Let's move the camera right here. Now you want to sew kind of close to the opening. Start at the uh, opening to sew that closed. And then you can kind of move to a bigger seam allowance or bigger top stitch allowance, whatever that's called. Okay, isn't that cute? And just continue on and make a whole bunch of them. Fifteen is how many I can fit on my towel. So I don't know how many you can make at once. But I think that that's good for a week's supply for sure. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching and that you get to make some of these cute projects. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know to make more like this. And then also subscribe to my channel and get notifications when I make something new. I would really appreciate that. Um, and then also be sure to visit Skillshare, my sponsor, and sign up. Um, you get two free months to look at all the classes you want. This is a great time of year with the holidays coming up. Learn how to make something new. And um, I hope I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.